What's up guys, my name is Justin Odisho and in this video I'm going to show you how to create those stereoscopic wiggly photos as you see in many popular music videos like the Mira Mesa What If I Go video. They're all over Instagram and I'm sure you guys have seen this trend pop up on several of your favorite artists or pages. So this is a Nishika N8000 3D film camera. I got it off eBay, it's about 20 years old and they haven't made it since the 80s. I still have the box for the flash, but I actually lost all the other boxes, so kind of upsetting. But what this camera was advertised to do was create these little fun 3D holographic pictures as like kind of like these cards with the holographic images on them. And basically it was kind of like a cutting edge gimmick, almost like a toy camera back in the day, but it's found resurgence with the popularity of one, the film look for places like Instagram or other music videos, and also that wiggly GIF animated thing. See, instead of creating a shiny little photo card with it, people instead take the film strip, put them together in a program like Photoshop or Premiere Pro, and animate them into a GIF boomerang so that you have an interesting effect where the camera seems to be rotating from the person in frozen time, like bullet time. Something you can do right now to kind of explain to yourself how this works is with your own two eyes. Hold your finger up and blink your left and right eye and you see how your finger moves. Now imagine if you had four eyes, not glasses, and you could alternate between those four photos so your finger would seem to move back and forth in time and if you animated them very quickly, you'd be moving from each lens back and forth getting a cool stereoscopic GIF image. Now if you aren't actually able to use a 3D camera, specifically able to capture four photos at the same moment in time, you can use some little visual tricks like taking a quick video and looping maybe one second of video quickly back and forth, but you do lose the bullet time effect of being able to freeze something in midair like water or a jump or a dive. And also you can use some camera tricks by using multiple lenses to take different pictures. So this is also a little bit more tedious, but some of the newer iPhones have two lenses on the back, a zoom lens and a standard lens. And you can actually download apps like Wigglegram and others that take advantage of both of those lenses and take two photos at the same time that allow you to switch back and forth like a left and right eye. So if you really want to capture that old film look that you see on Instagram and all these videos, then maybe go on eBay and try to get a Nishika N8000 or even look into a Nimslo, which was kind of the original. Just be careful, you know, these are very old, so make sure you're getting a working one or sometimes things are broken, things don't work. Try to find one that looks like it's working. And if you don't want to go that route, then hopefully some of these alternatives opened your eyes to how you can play around with this cool 3D boomerang GIF style effect in your own work. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not to stay tuned for all of my new creative videos and go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that at Justin Odisho if you want to reach out to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.